All right, welcome, welcome to another fantastic installment of Getting Real. And this time, really, we have real. Phil, really real and raw. I love that, right? With Phil, um, an aspect, I, I call it, I mean, I don't know what you say, of Archangel um, Raphael. So yeah. we're talking to uh, the real deal healer here, right? <laughs> but we uh, what I, we want to hear about all of that but also we want to hear about your awakening and you know I know I know I mean I've 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 known you so I know a little bit about your story but um you know just how you know also what you can share with people that are just now waking up about how they can proceed on on their journey too but yay hey Phil glad uh, you're here thank you <laughs> I was just uh, saying to Sally, I thought it was tomorrow night, so this is very raw. I've it not is. planned it. I haven't even had a shake, so I've just, I've just come back from coaching judo. So, <laughs> so that's right. life, isn't it? So it's better like that sometimes. It is. So, how do you want to start? Well, do you want to do you want to talk a little bit about your awakening and how you came into this life? Okay. I mean, I, I, I've had. Uh, you don't just get one awakening, you get loads of awakenings. I always thought, well, I came into the life, uh, the baby died about three minutes, four minutes. I was looking for walking. So I was with my dragon and we saw the soul leave the body and we, we, I jumped in. But the, the brain was quite damaged, yeah? So I had to fix a lot of my brain and I, I, could, I was speaking like a light language when I was uh, when I was first five years of life and everyone thought I had brain damage but my sister who when I was Merlin was my twin could understand me strangely enough she's the only one who could understand me that was quite strange so that's new this is new information so I'm giving you quite raw new information now. Uh, when I was about five I say four I think it's five now uh, my Golden she died, yeah. So I started giving. I thought, these are wow moments that in, promote the awakening, and I, I started giving me goldfish kiss of life. My hands glowed, actually glowed, as I'm giving the kiss of life, and it came alive. Now it's dead for two days, so it was quite magical. So I was five year old doing that. Uh, can I have one of them? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee delivery, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. You've trained them well. <laughs> and uh, when I was uh, seven or eight, I used to connect to the earth, uh, to the, I used to sing to the weather. By singing to the weather, they'd do exactly what I wanted, to, wanted them to do. And at, at about 10, I wanted to build an igloo. So I asked in the singing, and we, we had the worst snowstorm in 100 years. I built the igloo, that was fine. But all these are like, it was just normal. I thought everyone could do it and then I realized they can't. And uh, over the years, I used to do a lot of healing to my family and friends. And then about 21 years ago, I got credited to crystal healing and uh, spiritual healing. Uh, and in fact, and this is a secret, I did do all of the course. They just let me have it. Have it. Oh, well, because I knew, I knew probably a lot more than they can, uh, you know what I mean. But uh, what it confirmed, the course, it was a two-year course of college, is exactly how feeling was. So it was great. And uh, so I've, I've been, always been awake, awake to these things. But about two, three years ago, I contacted my twin flame on here uh, on your chat and uh, she had all my keys and I thought I was wide awake but no it wasn't I had a an, I had an art blockage uh, from a Mayan curse because I did something to the king's daughter that I shouldn't have done <laughs> I'll let you I'll let you have your own mind on that one and so I had a, a an art chakra curse and she's at about four in the morning, three in the morning, she have sent me a message, only a few lines, and I, first time in my life, I probably cried for an hour, an hour, 
and I, I, I wanted it to stop. And this opening of the art chakra, you can imagine all the keys and codes that were blocked behind that. They all came in, and all of a sudden, I went through a fierce awakening, and it was quite mad. You got anything to say yet, or shall I just carry on? No, I mean, I, I've heard this story. I think it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, I also had a very similar thing where I had, I, I, I would call a divine counterpart come in and say, um, you know what, I need to expand your heart chakra. It's it's constricted. In mm. you, At this point in your life, Sally, it's supposed to be, supposed to be bigger, wider open and so i had that experience but just Mm. like you i mean we do have these these people and you say a twin flame i say to them counterpart whatever you know they come in with these keys and these codes to help us on our Mm. journey and it's amazing i love it a a lot of people mistaken a twin flame as romantic it's like an opposite of you in a way so when one personality changes the other one takes the personality so you normally don't have the same sort of person, same same sort of emotions at the same time, because it's like you won in a way. If you get, if you understand what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something I missed before when I started when I started uh, training as an healer, uh, the person who ran it actually said I had the whitest art she'd ever met, and she would she used to have spirits come into it. She could talk. Like that. She said, but. Well, God, you got some black bits in there. <laughs> and as Ivan Teller used to say, I can cut through the black because they think I'm dark, which is great for warrior work. And I've done I've done warrior work since I was uh, about ten. But the first five years of warrior work, I was getting tra- trained by the angels. I thought they were real demons when I used to go to bed, and they were they were training me to see if I could do the job, and I passed it. Uh, by the time I was 12, I had an alarm system in the back of my head to warn me when anything dark was attacking me. And that's why nothing attacked me, because I've got this built-in alarm system. And the back, of your, well, you know, the back of your head is where you get the input from the psyche. That's a great place to have your alarm system. And by 15, I was after them. Uh, up to 15, they were going for me. After 15, I, I was going for them. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, the twin flame. When you meet someone you, in here, they, these are like, uh, uh, I've forgotten the word. I would have had all these notes on the screen now. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what that's like. But it was very, very, very strange. And what we did, we were helping each other at the time. We opened a lot of information and I actually, while I was going through the awakening, I released every residue I ever had. Now, people think, oh, I've had this life and that life. I've got about 10 past lives. Now, it's not really your life. It's your old soul's life. People make mistaken, oh, I'm Raphael. No, no. I'm like a fragment, a factor of the old soul. And that is where Raphael is. But you can merge with them. You can actually merge with the aspects, which is good fun. Uh, and people like channel this, channel that. Now, some people won't like what I'm saying. I know, I can already feel it. You bring I know. it <laughs> <laughs> Why channel information that isn't irrelevant? Why not? If it's to help humanity, then I agree with it. If it's to give you knowledge, then yes. That's the only reason I, uh, I uh, channel all these beings now. Sophie, my friend, wants me to do channeling. And I do do channeling because I have the voices. I have Josh, Joshua, I have Michael in the head, which we have a bit of, we've had conflict in the past, but he's in the head. Uh, people don't understand that I could channel quite easily. I do, but I don't tell anyone, uh, which is quite funny. Except for you just did. Yeah, I just did, didn't I? <laughs> That's because it's raw. That's why I'm leaking it out. Uh, what would we? Oh. Yeah, no, I kind of see it like I mean, I, I I never really realized I was channeling until um, probably like three or four years ago. Hmm. Um, 
you know, and it was my higher self. But then I, I, once I started to understand, I was like, no, I can, I can tap into any energy. Yeah. I mean, I, if I want to, and then doing the healing work, I can call on any specific energy I want, or they just show up and are like, Hey, I mean, I, I'm here to help. This is, this is my deal. And it's like, Oh, okay. So yeah, channeling is, is, um, you know, it's interesting because a lot of people are ch trying to channel and they're channeling things that might not be exactly what they think it is. At least that's what I'm noticing. Trickster and, ones, yeah. yeah. I mean that, that, that trickster, I'll call it trickster energy, you know, in the shamanic sense of being a lower vibrational being pretending to be something else. That's, that's pervasive right now. That's yeah. what I'm seeing. I had a healing centre. I wanted to look at a child that was lost in the moor, Saddleworth Moor, and one of the women who he contact, he could contact Michael, or could be Raphael, I can't remember, one of them, right. actually in the healing room, put a hand over my face and said, my, uh, angel so-and-so forbid you to do that, and all my energy just got zapped. Now, would an angel ask you not to do something? No. Would they take all your power, which they did? No. <laughs> was it because I was, where the child was buried, it's like an altar to evil. Was I getting close? Yes, and I, I'm going to have a go again. See, that's everyone witnesses this. Yes, I'm going to go for that again. And uh, now, now I'm a little bit higher, if you know what I mean. I'm, I wasn't scared of it, I was just shocked and the person I started doing healing afterwards was ill afterwards, made ill. <laughs> Sorry about that one. <laughs> so what I did, I uh, I thought about it for a while and I ended up uh, banishing from the healing centre. She'd been there for years, she never came again. And I gave a warning to the demon who was pretending to be an angel. You come here and you're not going to get back. Uh, I, I gave I give them a warning, and that's it after the warning. No, I, I, I will take them on there. But uh, I know we're like digressing about awakening, but my life has been one big awakening. That's that's the problem. Now, one story that I'd like to say, and this might shock people because it's me, but about, about my wife died about eight years ago. Afterwards, I had a little addiction, gambling addiction, okay, which was fine. But what we have in our life, if we are very, if we've got a job, we have dark beings to try and stop us on our path. So they'll push and they'll push and they'll try and push you down to a lower vibration. And at my worst, I actually saw them in my mind's eye, four of them laughing at me. And from my, I've never told much of this story, so you've got to unique way here, yeah, I know. <laughs> From my heart chakra, I let off anger. Now then, anger normally is nothing. But when it's coming from your heart, it's a big thing. And I actually froze them in my timeline. They just got stuck in my timeline. Now you can imagine uh, what that's like, actually freezing, a bit like Superman, but the anger frozen. And I forgot about that, <laughs> like you do. And thank you for Trish, who's a medium, who told me that the ones who were trying to manipulate you and control you, you've, they need releasing. They, they, they want to go back. <laughs> They've had enough of being in my timeline all these years, if you know what I mean. And uh, I mean, David released them to uh, the source. I wouldn't let them go back, because at the end of the day, they've been manipulating my life all my life and there were four of them there were three like workers and there was a like a planner i can't remember what you call it but it's like a, a, a thinker of them, of them and i froze the old lot but i actually saw them and they were like how were they very dark skin uh i still remember them. they were like reptilian they were like a reptilian but not the reptilian you see very very dark skin a bit like uh, crocodile skin and the faces were far off crocodile but they were like a feature of a human if you mix the two you've got the being that tried to stop me but it was amazing i actually saw him in my mind's eye 
uh, and the anger came at me. I was so, I've never had that before. Now, anger is not always low vibration. It is a release and I released a lot of power. Well, and what I know about it is in some cases, I mean, it is like an empowering, you know, when we were just talking about the warrior and, and that you're a warrior in 3D, but also in other dimensions, we were kind yeah. of joking earlier before we came on, but you know, that anger, and I'm not talking even about like righteous rage or anything like that, but it is this empowerment, you very, know, very deep. Empowerment. Yeah. Very deep. Yeah. And yeah. that it, it's ancient, really. Yeah. It's not, it's, it has nothing to do with um, these times when at least what I, because I felt it a few times, I, I, I would call it rage mm. is what it felt like. Yeah. And it was like, and, and I knew immediately that I needed to be very careful about how I move it and direct mm. it because it's very, I mean, a ma major power. I, I, had, I, 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 I had similar I had a similar thing at 19 and in this pub a clock that was uh, are the inches in where you live the inches centimeters yeah, inches. Yeah. yeah it was about 25 inches wide and the anger it shot off the wall it actually shot off the wall and the wire electric wire stopped it carrying on and then it went round and that is that is the anger it, you can sh you can shift quite a lot with it very very well yeah it's got power yeah so i mean the, the kind of anger that i think a lot of humans are dealing with right now is like just that simmering resentment and that is super low vibrational and that yeah that keeps you low that's not what i'm talking and i don't that's not what you're talking about no no uh, it's not the same it's i mean it doesn't feel the same hmm. So. Exactly. so let's go I'll go back to the awake I wanted to tell that story because yeah. I probably wouldn't have told it anyway <laughs> I'm okay now by the way I've sorted that part the anger that was the last time I left it after that that anger released it all so uh, but it captured the four beings that were trying to stop me uh, funny enough they, they, they even had a tracking device a camera tracking device in the wood at the house and one of the neighbors had seen a spaceship above that when she was eight or nine exactly the same place and the only reason i saw it was uh the bathroom we i'm living in a bungalow the bathroom had a window and i smashed it accidentally and when i was having a bath when i was getting out i could see an alien in the wood but when i went back or when i went forward it gone so they they set set up in a timeline to check me out basically so they, they had an idea what sort of job i've got here and like uh is a yeah i agree there's 144,000 uh, old souls here but there's 144 ancient souls they're like the main the main one so all them will be checked out and they'll try and get sort of driven off the path well yeah, yeah it's all a diversion Mm. right the whole that is the name of the game is diversion distraction right um so that's why i don't watch tv i don't i mean i i've spent years deprogramming myself you know and i don't i don't really want to get ac give any access to get reprogrammed so i just yeah i don't watch any of that stuff mm. right, during the awakening yeah i bought a donna kebab of donna kebabs and I looked at it and I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat it. I gave it the dog. <laughs> Bacon. Didn't, didn't, I couldn't have it. I thought that's my favourite. I can't have one. No. Uh, broccoli. Never had eaten broccoli before. Started eating broccoli. That is, uh, what else was it? Peppers. Never eaten peppers before. Started eating peppers. My children thought I was, I had some, I had a serious illness and I was about to die. They really did think, because uh, what I started doing, uh, my oldest daughter is very like me, never wrong. So obviously we've had some, <laughs> we've had some, we've had some arguments over the years. And I actually phoned her up and said, I want to apologize how I was. I'm the dad, I should have backed down 
and uh, I'm really sorry how I've treated you over the years. And she, she actually said she had to stop the car because she was bursting to tears. So then I, I said to my uh, sister, I got everyone crying during this. I said to my sister that during my event, my awakening, I noticed that when I was one, one year old, that's impressive, I was having a bath with your dolls. I've noticed that the only person that played with me properly when I was a child was you. And I just want to thank you for it. And she started crying. <laughs> right? So, quite impressive. But, so I went to every everyone that I had uh, something trauma, something wrong in the past. And I, I tried to heal everything. And it was quite a mad experience. And the more I was doing it, the more my bones started crystallizing. Yeah, the more I started getting a lot of pain. Now, my twin flame, if you remember the time, told me that I can't cheat the pain. Now, headache, I have never had an headache before, or I used to take it out quite within five minutes. I used to just put my fingers to my eye, pull it out. I couldn't do that. <laughs> so. As, I, as the residue from every life was coming out, and I mean millions of lives, not just a few, right. the, the umming in the head started going well, 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 big, and it started creating headaches. And it was like a wishing noise as, as all the negativity got released. And uh, after two weeks, I said, I've got to stop this. I've got to stop it. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I had two weeks of it. Holy moly. Yeah, right. That's a long time. Yeah. I, I thought I could, but uh, I thought, no, I've had enough. I shouldn't have said every life. I should have said one life at a time, please. <laughs> right? like, like a bus. Thank you. Yeah. One at a time. But I, I did it all at the same time. It was quite, uh, quite dense. A lot of, a lot of power. Well, on this last, not see the last eclipse the first mm. eclipse in may anyway um i had a major release and it was just very similar to this i mean i've had a few over the last five years that were like major releases that are kind of like what you're talking about you it sounds like you had a big ginormous all at once <laughs> i dialed it down a little and so but i had one and it was probably close to four hours of hysterical laughter and i i had this epiphany you know that laughing is a release too mm, it's you know in much the same way that crying or or uh, farting or burping or all of the different <laughs> ways people release right but i was like that is amazing that i have all this pain an ancient pain i'll call it because i mean a lot of it i was like what is this and i couldn't even I could feel it, but I didn't know what it was attached to. And so, but it was just laughing. I was just laughing and it was just coming out. And I was like, are you kidding me? This is the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. I know. Yeah. I'd like to see your farting release. That'd be quite exciting. <laughs> <laughs> during, the during the time, amazingly, my first <laughs> healing event was during it. Now, I was a bit worried, would I be able to handle it? But because I was going through the awakening, it was easy. It's a lot easier than what it is now. I just, what, when, you don't, when you're under awakening, if someone asks you a question, you can answer it straight away. No matter what the question is, it can be questions that you don't even have the subject. You know the answer. Yeah, you just know. You uh -huh. know, and, and that was quite amazing. So the healing event, my first, the first healing event was amazing because I just knew everything. That's not ego, I just knew everything. And that is to do with the awakening. Yeah. Well, and there's a certain amount of trust, hmm. you know, to be able to just drop straight down into whatever whatever that truth is, then just let that come out. You, you don't think about anything. You just right. answer. Which can be quite dangerous as someone <laughs> <laughs> asks you the wrong question. It can be a bit tricky. And I, I find myself doing that all the time with people where, you know, it's like unfiltered. You know, one of my gifts is actually, I think one of my friends was like, yeah, you know, you know how to make things um, receivable. Like I can, I can shift information so that it can be received. 
Yeah. But I also can not do that at times where it's just like, bleh. and I was like, I mean, half the time I'm like, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> like, wow. Okay. <laughs> that's the, you know, that's the, that's truth right there. But it, it, sometimes it's not so easily received. Yeah. It, it's, I mean, that I have this ability and a lot of us do to finesse in a way that it is also received. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Yeah. You know, I, I, I had something coming to mind. I would actually have gone through an awakening. Oh, one thing I'd like to say, there's two, two awakenings at the moment. It's people waking up to reality and it's people waking up and awakening. So it's two awakenings. But the more people, and they're both like together, aren't they? They're both linked, if you get what yeah. I mean. Uh, I, I wanted to say that because some people are awake, don't understand what an awakening is. Uh, it can be quite tricky, but spiritually awakening and humans being awakened. And it's amazing, it's quite amazing. I, I, some of these events have been on uh, with David, David. I know he's on later, but next yeah. week, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, next week. Uh-huh. He's just copying me, I think. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he knew I'd do it, I'll do it. I, I'm joking there, David. Uh, yeah, there was one with Lauren and David, and we were doing grid work. <laughs> and what happens is, as your aspects, as your awakening goes up and your vibration goes up, other aspects come in. I thought Raphael was the highest vibration, he's nowhere near the highest vibration. So while I was doing grid work, I was doing some grid work, giving some energy to the grid. We were all doing it because it needed it. And my crystal source being called Evra, yeah, was next to me. I didn't know her name or anything. Evra with a, if you do an eye pitch, Evra, which breaks glass, that's what her name is. So I can't go that high. Uh, I've never done quiet practice, so I can't go that high. So, <laughs> so she was next to me. The, the being, she was like a blue diamond, but loads of blue diamonds would be like a human feature. So she had like the human around and she was laughing. She always laughs. And she said that you, you're, uh, I'll say rubbish, but she said it more uh, swearing sort of thing at grid work. I'll do it. And she said all humans are like that. So what she did, she twisted the grid and then a blue light came out of it and it was like a vibration. And it was quite, quite great to watch, watch it. Now, she's the being I merge with when I'm reversing the lollipop. You get that? <laughs> it's a code. It's a code, so I, I, we don't get banned. <laughs> so when, yeah. I'm re- when I'm reversing, and Deb made it up, the lollipop. So remember, if we ever say lollipop, it's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I got a strike just mentioning it, just mentioning I- the word. Hmm? I just got a strike on on YouTube um, for posting one of these interviews. It was just mentioned casually, and yep. Now well, I'm like, okay, I'm. Well, well, all I said is, "Have you had the lollipop?" And she said, "No." I got a strike for that. No. <laughs> yeah, I think what? I said I, I I think I said that I had not had that yet. Yeah. And that that was enough. Just be like, no, you're done. Well, what she does, she connects. We merge together, partially. Partially merge. I don't go out of the body, so we partially merge. But these transcend, you know, these mediums that can channel them by going out of the body, and then the being comes in. I it's, usually bring. I usually bring them in with me, actually. Yeah, but well, uh, I find it quite difficult. Uh, so I'm going to start just asking the questions, and then get the message in the end like you do. It's easier, but I can actually go out of my body and make it take over, you get what I mean? Very risky, yeah. you got, you got to know the vibration that you're putting in. You might stay in. <laughs> uh, and what she does, she connects to the 11th chakra of, the 11th chakra, the blueprint of, you, of the person. And it's like a copy of their uh, everything. And they reverse it 
by doing that. And you can see black smoke coming out of it, which is quite amazing. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. With some um, some some healing work that I was doing um, with cancer, it was mm. very similar. It, mm. It's very similar to what you're saying. It was yeah. at a DNA level in the blueprint that I was working with. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. I, I found it quite interesting about implants. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Yours is special. <laughs> yeah. What I do... Uh, I've only done this last few years. People take implants off people, but they come back. Yeah. I mean, you're not sorting the solution, but the best way is to actually astro with your team of warriors into the implant. You don't know where you're going to go. Uh, when I ended up on Orion, I well, actually- Well, you did this for me. Yeah, I, I was actually on Orion and you mentioned it. Now I came back, but I didn't. We're multi-dimensional beings. I was on, still on Ryan. I came back and I said, I can't believe you just said that because that's where we are. I actually went to the healing centre the following Tuesday and Brian at the healing centre said, when I was healing you, you had these black, gooey spider creatures on you, five of them. I said, I didn't do a cleanse on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so <Yeah>. I don't. <laughs> I must have took, brought them back from uh, good old Ryan. But uh, me and Dave and a uh, hundred thousand, like two hundred thousand Stasi people, we uh, about two three years ago actually had a battle on a ride. Uh, we won actually. We we actually took down three pyramids with plasma tech that were in line with the Peru Peruvian Peru. I, I think it's something with Peru with the right. I know they like, and we took it down. Uh, and we're supposed to have an agreement, but I seem to go to a line quite frequently. You know? <laughs> uh, that's because 30,000 years ago in the Orion Wars, they beat us, the Dark One, they had the Earth. They've been controlling us. Uh, did you know this, by the way? I know. They've been controlling us for 30,000 years, and uh, uh, that's why the 144,000 people are you now to wake and change it yep the other thing is on with uh evra i can merge into it and i become a grid now strangely enough i've been telling us actually said i am a grid separately two people have said that now. and what i do i connect to the andara crystals and the earthquakes in november in peru was a release to waking people up so you might notice from november to now, a lot more of weight has started to waking up, and they can't, they can't, uh, they can't trick us anymore. That's what they try to do. Yeah, it's just not you can just see through it now. Well, I mean, that's what it is: is the illusion part is like falling away, and people mm. are starting to see. And I know that it's interesting you say earthquake because somebody just sent me a a message right before we got on here and said, "Hey, there's there's going to be a major earthquake next week," and I was like. Anyway, um, you know, well, the, the, the earthquakes now is releasing the Andara crystal energies, which lift the vibration, which lifts people's vibration, waking them up. The more, the better. Well, and I all, I mean, I know I've said this on a different interview, but I mean, a lot of us are here anchoring in and we are doing this release work too. Hmm. So the more of us that actually take the time and the con have the conscious uh, wherewithal, I guess, I don't know, you know, to spend the time out in nature with running this energy as a release valve. We're, we're helping like, hopefully bypass some of the, the, the worser timeline, you know, cat catastrophe, catastrophe kind of stuff that could happen. That's so fun, that's fun <laughs> You know, that, that'll be, we've given up, we'll just, we'll just sit, let off Yellowstone. <laughs> right? In a container. <laughs> In a container. <laughs> like, uh, we, we, we haven't lost yet. So some say the world's finished, we are, no, we, I can't see it. When I look out the window, we're still in this matrix reality. Well, and yeah. when people say that, so it's interesting that, that you say that because a lot of people are saying that. And every time yeah. I hear that, it's like, whoa, 
what are they tapping into? Whatever that is, they want people, people to think that everything is, is over, you know, this sense of relaxing, put your down your guard, you know, whatever. No, no, you know, no, 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 no. It's like, that is not what time this is. Uh, about time. It's quite in- <laughs> no, no, time's quite interesting because on yeah. my phone and on my computer, it reads the time. But my clock in my car loses six minutes every now and again. My mobile's at work, but it's not connected to the internet. Lose six minutes. And I'm thinking, are we shifting time time shots here? Are we flipping? Well, or, or, I mean, I, I mean, so that was what came in earlier today. It was, you know, people are talking about these this big solar flare or whatnot. And I'm and I was like, that doesn't feel that that's not how I mean, we have been getting major solar incoming anyway. Mm. And so what I what I, the information I was just given is that no, it's not that. That it's going to continue the intensity and continue to increase. So yes, but it's not like there's gonna be a major a major solar event like some people are saying and you know huge major problem but what what i saw is that that the frequency is going to shift and so all of a sudden we're going to have the these incoming frequencies that are going to raise the level of consciousness of humans all at once did you see the resonance two weeks ago 84 last time it was 84 was when the berlin wall thing came down uh, people don't know that that's it's never been that high but it's just yeah. normal it's well just and, and i feel this this vibration you know I, i'm pretty sensitive like most of us are and i feel you know it was like this feels weird this almost feels like high blood pressure like and i and i don't have high blood pressure but it feels i did when i was pregnant so it's funny all the things that have happened in my life to go oh this feels like this oh yeah i had that experience you know and it's like this it feels like high blood pressure as in the pressure is definitely you know becoming more um, intense and i'm like wow you know so it feels like we're about to have this you know thing of you know a shift in the consciousness and and so that is going to maybe feel not so super comfortable to a lot of people that aren't you, you know, because it never does for me when I go through this thing of a major shift. And then I'm like, whoa, you know, as I'm looking backward or forward, everything looks different, like through my new, I kind of look at it like it's new eyes. Hmm. Um, and so everything looks and feels different. And it's, you know, it's kind of like when you get brand new glasses and you're like, whoa, this feels kind of you know, I need to get acclimated to that. But today it also came in that that part of what's shifting is time hmm. because it's a construct. It's anyway. going fast, isn't it? At the moment. Yes, it's speeding up. Hmm. Yeah. So I think maybe your car is not on that. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like on the on the old paradigm time. Do, do you know do you know what I've just been told? This is uh I don't know which aspect I've got so many around, me. but they said you don't need to eat, send even to earth, send it to the light grid. We're all connected to the light grid. If you send the energy to the light grid, it connects everyone up, it can waken them. Now I've just been told that. I didn't know that till just now. <laughs> yeah. So that's interesting, isn't it? So instead of just uh, giving energy to her, give it to the light grid. Because then if everyone wakens up, we lift the vibration, yeah, the vibration lifts anyway. That's something different. It's very, yeah. Well, it's interesting. Like I was saying, I mean, I find myself, you know, going, sometimes I'm like moving more energy up and up and out. And sometimes I'm bringing more energy in. It's like, I don't know how I know. But anyway, I do. Um, and so that's interesting. To And I just saw it looked like a web yeah. when, I, when you just said that. It looked like um, a web of lights, actually. Yeah, another little story, recent story, actually. And 
so no, this this is knowledge, so it's good to have. Now, one of my aspects was uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, uh, Saint Germain. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I was also Merlin, and people have actually connected Merlin to Saint Germain. The reason why how he got uh, by the flame source did not give him by the flame. He had the magic spark. Merlin had the magic spark. He's a, he was a sorcerer. He created it. Yeah. But if anyone doesn't resonate with that, oh well, never mind. <laughs> right. I'm like, that kind of sounds like you, Bill. What? So I know. I, no, I, well, it is family. <laughs> my original aspect was a dragon, went to the magic planet and brought it back the magic spark. They go into this that cave and they get judged whether they can hold it and when you when they get it it, it gets goes back to the, the old soul everyone can have the access to the magic spark that's why merlin had the magic spark and the last bit moses had the star who created the funnel he created did part of the way he created the funnel yeah realistic <laughs> they just change it down there uh hermes was the god of magic on atlantis he had the magic spark, so they all had magic spark. I uh, I used it some years back and destroyed the building, only 6,000 square feet. That's the magic spark. <laughs> so, I only was messing with a bit of tongue in the magic spark, it, it, it wrecked the building. So, I, you've got to be careful when using it. Uh, what was it saying? Yeah, I went to Orion another time. I've been to Orion about five times in the last few years. And on the way back, I had some a heavy, dense energy. I couldn't shift it. It was too dense. I must have swallowed it or something, I don't know. So in the morning, when I woke up, I didn't open my eyes, but I, I saw in my eyes green stars. And then appeared a seven-pointed star. I was in the eyes for an hour. An hour? I wouldn't open my eyes because I thought, wow. You don't, you're not going to open your eyes if you can see green stars in your eyes and then a seven-pointed star. And that shifted all the dense energy. Now, without the flame transmutes it, this shifted it. This completely got rid of it. And I'd say Source gave me that one. I didn't conjure up that. That was given to me. Because uh, I was in part of that. Where is the dense energy? So I just wanted to say that part. Nice. And, nice. It, and, and within an hour, I put it on my... Facebook showing the, trying to replicate the seven that's where I got it from. Uh clear dense energy. So remember green sparkling green stars there are seven point star. So what, what you could do is look at the seven point star, fix it to five minutes and look at the stars. And it clears dense energy. So, and Orion is very dense. It, well and this and honestly this place is pretty dense sometimes too. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna say. <laughs> I mean, you know, it kind of depends on, on you know, your perspective and how you, how great you are at shifting your consciousness. But it sometimes this can feel ridiculous. Oh, I'm digressing again. I've got all this information. I should write a book. I know. Uh, Thirty-five thousand years ago, I was on a ride fighting for the light. I think the light. My twin flame was fighting for the dark or the other way around. I'm not exactly sure which side we were on. Because you can change side, you can be dark That's and light. Do. We do flip all the time. I know. And uh, she cut my head off. Or he did. I'm not sure if it's an he or she then. And right. the last thing I could see is the person laughing as I'm in the charcoal of a right. It's like charcoal, the, the planet. And I, I saw, I could still see, even though my head was decapitated. So when Source asked me, do I want to release Earth, help to release Earth with all these thousands, that's payback. <laughs> that's what I thought of it anyway. So that's why I'm here. I didn't, I'm not here to, I'm here to pay back. So, so that's why uh, I give all the dark demonics one, one chance and then I don't send them to the light like David sends them. Uh, I get rid of them. <laughs> right. And then give them me dragon to eat. Oh my gosh. So now um, your halo thing, do you want to uh, talk about that for a minute? I think that might be helpful, especially for people that are just 
Shall, shall, I, shall I tell you how I, I, I've been using that for about 15 years? Yeah. I, I don't look at it as an arrow, I look at it as a crystal ring. I like that. Yeah, crystal ring. And I used to use it, and it used to have just white light, and it used to ground myself. And but it's at the top, goes four inches down, two inches up. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing it your language, I'm doing the inch, not bad, eh? Four inches wow. down. And for anyone in the UK, 100 milli down, 50 milli up. <laughs> well, 100 mil, 100 point. 100.6 I think it is yeah I, I use both so it's from 4 inches down to inch up 4 inches down and that goes to the uh, goes to your feet that was what I've been doing for years and then one day a person at the healing centre came in feeling he was an he used to be an healer 10 years prior he went to a shamanic drumming event now a shamanic drumming event can be also dangerous also dangerous because these create portals the news <laughs> the drumming creates portals and what happened summit came through and while he was there he had to get rushed to hospital ambulance job he lost his wife and he lost his uh job within six months i think he was after that so he went to the healing place, yeah, and Angela in our group, if, if you're, she's not got Facebook, she's in the messenger group, she, started, she was healing it, healing it, and uh, that felt nothing of it. She didn't ground herself, she went on to me. Now I'm there laying on the bed expecting to have some healing. I start getting strangled, physically strangled. I'm a judo level two coach, so I've got ways of stopping it. Luckily, I shouldn't tell this in case I need the judo. It's very hard to strangle because I've got low, I've got like footballers jaw, I've got low jaw here, so it blocks. But I try, I did a few things and it, it, it got away. And I thought, wow, I've <laughs> just been strangled by an invisible I didn't even see what it was. I think it was demonic, but I, I, you relax, you know, expecting to get strong. <laughs> so I asked Angela, I said, what happened? And she actually said that she saw some sort of predator, like an invisible predator, like the film, around him. And I'd been telling him about all the warrior work, all the demons I've been killing in the, in the room earlier. <laughs> so all, all of a sudden, this what I would call a multi-dimensional demon, decided to go for me you know when my son was he, he, uh, doing healing on me at 16 she said i had visions of tens of thousands of demons around me i said yeah wanted <laughs> wanted by him because of my warrior work in astra basically i killed enough of them so that night i thought right i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it yeah, i'm not having that so what i thought i'd do i go to the person who had it around. Because obviously it's not inside, it's around him. He must have an implant. I'll change the implant to white light. Clever. <laughs> yeah. So as I'm changing to white light, because he's multidimensional. Oh, actually, no, I went for him that night. This is the night, the next day. And I shot my angelic sword. Even though I'm human, I can still have it comes from your art shaft where it grows out of your hand and I shot white light and the white light got to him and then stayed about two feet or about 24 inches in front of him and then he disappeared multi-dimensional he can get in any dimension you know you can even go in higher dimension even though it, you think oh, it's dark being it's supposed to be low now they can go in higher dimension well uh, so I don't know where he went and I thought right I've got to capture him I've got to sort him out here so it was a Friday night, and I thought, I'll go to the lad who had it, and I'll transfer, I'll take the implant out, and I'll put it as a white light. So as soon as the demonic attaches to the implant, it'll get fried. And I thought, that sounds good. As I'm doing it, he appeared behind me. He took my ankles out. I took his head off. When I came back, because when you get injured in outside Astra, the memory comes back. I had two sprained ankles. I couldn't walk. My family thought, you go to bed, 
and you wake up with two sprained ankles. But yeah. luckily, because it's a memory, it goes very, very fast. It goes, it goes in a few days. But so that I had problems walking that weekend because even doing healing, it, at the end of the day, the body thinks I've just had my ankles taken out, but it doesn't understand that, hold on, no, it's, it's a memory uh, of that work. <laughs> With Angela, I actually I told her about the, the ALO to ground herself. And that day, obviously, I started doing healing on the next one. I thought, I better do the ALO because I've been attacked by a demon and all of a sudden it glowed red, like a fiery red. And I thought, I've never seen that before. What it was, it was all the para, you know, demonic parasites, implants, the old lot were getting burned away. So the colour was very important. It's normally gave with white light. So it's going down, but if it changes colour, or if it goes on a certain sh chakra system, because each chakra needs nourishment with that colour, you know what I mean? So the crystal might glow the colour of the chakra. This glowed red, and I knew it was getting rid of a lot of rubbish, if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and your chakra system is a thousand hertz to about 400 hertz. So each goes lower. You did you know that? Yeah, just check. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got low, I've got I've got too much knowledge in my head, and so the energy. I'd say the, color, the standard colours uh, would be white, red, but very dark stuff. Uh, what else? Yellow for emotions. Quite a bit of emotions. I think it's an aerial level. Uh, green for healing. So it, it's not just a grounding technique. You can do it. You can heal. You can get rid of parasites, implants, a whole lot. Uh, yeah. Well, I was going to ask you about getting rid of implants. I mean, so that's one way. Mm -hmm. that if people get used to using that for themselves and they can use it as a purification device is what I yeah. kind of hear. I mean, that's what it is, basically. Yeah, it, it, it's something that it was like a portable method on Atlantis. It's actually from Atlantis. I think. And uh, so all you have to do is you can, you can visualize or by intention, visualize this halo or crystal uh, sphere and just let it go down slowly at its own pace. And it, if it stays in a certain place, place, that's where you need it. It's getting rid of some of it, so you can be an evening on this and like that. And then when it goes right to your feet, it takes about 10 minutes. When it goes to your feet, you just channel moon energy if you want, or whatever energy you want. Uh, I, I never understood how most healers just channel earth energy. You can channel anything. Yeah. You, you can actually channel the positive essence of a paracetamol to get rid of any headaches. You don't need a paracetamol, you can just channel the energy, send it into the air. Yeah, it still work. Uh, so all these magic cures, like creams and stuff like that, the, the power that makes you heal, you can channel that energy and send it direct. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Wow. So that was it. There was something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you about. Okay, so um, protection in astral. I don't use any. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't think you did. Um, I don't either. Um, but what what do you have to say about that for people that are just waking up and are and are astral projecting and and having fun and messing around with stuff out there? The one thing I would say is that people. Most, a lot of people, a lot of spiritual people don't realize how powerful they are. They've got the power inside to get rid of all these. The only reason we have demons and reptilians and all this wanting us is our power. They haven't got it. So you turn the power on when you do an astra and they won't even come near you. It'd be like, uh, you'll have like, you know when you go, in, I don't know if you do it in yours, where you go in a, a restaurant and it's a blue flame and the fly goes in. You, that's your light. That can be your light to anything that comes in. Uh, you can obviously put mirror, angelic mirror shields over you. Uh, I've actually got two angels to protect me, but I think they protect. I think they might protect you from me, actually. <laughs> possibly, possibly. It might be a reversible. I'm thinking. 
a visit a visit to the mods and I said you were, are you 24 7 watching me and they couldn't believe I knew they were there it's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, came, I came into this life and I brought some armor with me that I, I hid when I was young young hmm. and I just recently remembered where it was went back <laughs> got it journey back and got it and but what's weird is that I don't I don't really need it, hmm. but I brought it because I thought I would need it, but I don't really, you know. Do you, I, I, I've I, got a storage unit inside the tree of life in the underworld, and that's my portal storage unit for all my little equipment if I ever need any. <laughs> right on. <laughs> um, yeah, but, I, mean, I, I keep being told that part of my deal is that I'm just supposed to remain open. Hmm. That, you know, this whole thing of protection, protection, protection is fear-based. And that I don't need to, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't get whacked every once in a while. I mean, I do. I know I had to have you help me once. You know, it's it's like these things, a lot of it I can get off myself and purify. I do a, a very, it's almost like a nuclear explosion that mm -hmm. I have that comes straight out of my heart and it purifies my whole field. Um, that was dro it dropped in not too long ago for me to do that but um and that works but you know sometimes i need help hmm. every once in a while i get i i get stuck and and i would say that almost everybody is in the same boat yeah. right no matter how whatever you know however long you've been on your journey sometimes we need each other's help and that's what you know we help each other it's fantastic well, when when, uh, when i was on a riot through your implants. What we were doing at the time, we were, we were creating energy balls into this plasma building, plasma set. Yeah, it was drawing out, drawing your energy. It was actually drawing your energy out. And we blew it up. And we, as we blew it up, we, we did a run about because we didn't want to create a war because there's too many of them there because we only took about 50 with us. And then you, you felt it, didn't you? You felt the energy come. Yeah. So you knew something had happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <did. laughs> yeah. I don't really know what the deal is with the Orions and why they're obsessed with me, but it's okay. I'm uh, I'm good. I'm it's like, your power. We just want your power. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of people, even humans, that want my power, and I'm not <laughs> playing that game. You so. should, should, should be an empower. Path. That'd be nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank all our negative. Oh, all right. Any other uh, any other things you want to share? I got loads and loads of things. I share. know, I know. I could I could be on here for like five hours with you. Yeah. And we went to the board. I know. The experiences we get are wow moments where they're not normal. Something odd happened. It's a bit like when uh, my mum died the first time. She was supposed to have six hours to live because uh, she had a tumor bursting out and it was in the blood. And I said. No, that's not going to happen. So I decided to run her with myself, which was running me down a bit. And one day, it's funny, she died in the room with me in it in the hospital. That was a bad moment for whoever decided to switch the lights off. Because I put my hand to a third eye, this big white flash. Now, when I say white flash, I don't mean normal white. I mean the real spiritual white light. It opens every part of the room and I was in the tunnel yeah hovering above my mum my mum was hovering it was three gargoyles taking her to the light so I chased the gargoyles telling them to F off <laughs> like you do <laughs> I was really angry I was I was that angry, that angry again got me into that and then I brought her back big white flash in the room I started going in circles actually what happened she stopped she went I stopped I'm not doing it while I'm, I'm got, and I put my hand to the third eye and I was in the, in the tunnel. Brought her back, all the air started coming out. The eyes were going in circles. Shouted to my wife to come in. When she opened the door, what do you think happened? She got blasted two yards back. I brought in the energy of the, of the, uh, of it in between, if you know what I mean. And the energy put, pulled her back to, well, let's see. You do meat, no, you don't do meat. What do you do? You do yards. What was that? 
what, what's your measurement when it's like uh, 36 inches? Is it a yard or? That's uh, feet, three feet. Oh, three feet, yeah, you do feet. So, pull the, pull the six feet back, yeah? And uh, that was a wow moment, because I had just seen a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff happened. And people might say, well, hold on, if it's the time, let them go. Uh, not after six hours, imagine the shock of the soul, soul's in shock, fragments, might, might, might be a bit of trauma there. I didn't expect to die that quick. Three weeks saying goodbye to everyone. It's different. So yeah, you can you can play God for a few weeks to uh, let them say goodbye. That was quite interesting. Uh, another one, you got another one? Another story, man. <laughs> I'll tell you how I found the underworld, which you might have read one of my things. Yeah. And this is a long this is a long story. I had a book, where is it? You know, normally things are around when I'm telling a story. One minute. Uh, one second. You know, it's not meant to be. I had a magic book, yeah? And in the book, my wife said, is a special thousand year old well in Wales. Let's go there. So we got we took that up. We all went to there and uh, we got to a church and it was around near the church, but it was through like bushes and everything. It took us ages. We found this uh, thousand year old building, maybe 500 year old, maybe five. And the well was inside, and there was all flowers around, like a witch had done something with it. And I thought, I'm going to get my Coke bottle and fill it up. <laughs> so as I'm filling it up, all of a sudden I got this pull, tried to pull me in. I balanced some judo coats. I was judo coach then, I think. I was, judo coach. I was a good brown belt, so I was still decent. I thought, did that try and pull me in? So I tried it again this time, I got pulled in head first, fully head first. So I got out, my my, kid, my children who were 10 and 7 were laughing, but were running away because they knew I wasn't really happy. Right. My wife said, you're getting the petrol if we need any. So I had to, I had to drive home in the undies because <laughs> I was so... So that's part, sto- part eight of the story. So there's a meaning to this. Part B was at judo coaching. This parent was really ill and I said, do you want me to do, give you some healing? Now I never did any thought about grounding or protection or anything. I don't normally get that. As I'm healing, she could see, she said, between her legs, which isn't funny, it's not pervy anything, was a bright white light. I thought it was a bit strange. They don't normally see bright white lights. I carried on on judo, on my judo. 11 o'clock, that night, I felt, I'm getting a bit drained here. Why is that? I'm very, very tired. I've done judo and coaching and doing it. It must be that. Two o'clock, my shape-shifting guardian, Doman, who's a dragon and can be a human, we can do both, start, are you, are you looking at the time? <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I want to hear this. I have not heard this story. So, I don't know. two o'clock, my doman, my shape-shifting dragon human, said, you've got an energy vampire on you. We can't, we all of us have been trying to cut it. We can't cut it. You're going to die. You're gonna. You've got 5% life force left. Yeah, it was really greedy. Vampires can, vampire energy vampires can be really greedy. He said, but I know a place. Now he's a dragon. So he took me to the underworld of the light side, not the dark, the light side. So at the gates is two golden dragons. So that's where the connection is. He's, my aspect and my guardian are uh, warrior dragons. So obviously it's like a thing. They let me in and it's like a yellow brick road, but not in yellow, you know, like a, a curvy pathway. And in, inside is the tree of life or but you should, I should say tree of knowledge, tree of knowledge, not yeah. like tree of knowledge. Yeah. And behind the tree of knowledge is a white seat with the goddess of the earth there. 
But as I'm walking to it, really, really drained, like I'm on my last breath, my guardian said, remember to be respectful and be polite and ask for healing. And I said, now imagine this, is that why when I was in Ang Ang uh, Ang in Wales, I got pulled into the well because I didn't ask? And he said, exactly, exactly that. Imagine this conversation as I'm dying. <laughs> so, so that's how real it is. Even though people like me like to dream anything, no, wait, this is real, this is coming me. And I asked, and the goddess, there was two goddesses there, so I'm not sure why it was two. Asked me to lie in the white sea of the underworld, and she blessed me. And she had a goblet poured this white sea or whatever, and started doing uh, ancient tongue which I do know ancient tongue, so I know it was ancient tongue. Ancient tongue, if anyone wants to know, is quite light language, but it's got a lot more power in the word, words. It can destroy a building if it wants to, if you get what I mean. <laughs> so, you, may or, you may or may not have done that before. <laughs> yeah, possibly, <laughs> yeah. And right. afterwards, uh, woke up at six in the morning, I was really, I was more than five. I was super fine. I, it like an awakening. So it was like an awakening. I, I thought, wow, so near. Now, two years ago, I, I actually wrote about this on Facebook. And the book I was reading where it says which place to go, facing the page, actually facing, it said about the underworld and the goddess of the underworld and then the axis going the tree of light the tree of knowledge going through here up to the heavens and i thought wow it's in it's facing the page i actually went it's too this that's not coincidence that is timing that is unbelievable timing so uh yeah, yeah you're, hmm? we were on a journey once a couple of years ago must have been with david and a few others and we we went there we went to the underworld to the to the tree of knowledge and we got we got a key i remember i'll never forget that was i on that or was it just david you were, you were there too oh yeah yeah so i've, I've leaked out my uh, knowledge there the, the thing is we uh after i went there i, I took a medium uh, and we couldn't get in because the dragon said no tours so I said, I know a back way. <laughs> and it's in like a like a lake. And there's like goblins. And she won't go because the goblins. You don't stare at a goblin. It's very, very fair. They don't like. Even though we're in the white light, white part of the underworld, you don't go in the dark part. You never get out. I have been in there, but it's very, it's not nice. <laughs> uh, she won't carry on. But uh, I, knew, I knew the back way. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> I, I could even create portals there now if I really wanted to. So yeah, I've got the key to go there now anytime, so I can do a tour now. But at the beginning, it was only for healing, if anyone wanted to be blessed. Yeah. Right. I think we took uh, me and, I can't remember his name now, we took someone to get healing there. And uh, I wasn't sure, he always said he was angelic and he had wings on there. Now, how do I know about my angelic aspect? You want me to give you all my sign? What was that? Um, over the years, different healing centers used to say, your aura is silver. We never seen silver, we got like a silver trail. And then one, one healer once said, when you were healing, you had wings out of your back. I could see your wings out of your back. And then, uh, another alien center because there's different alien centers up in. Uh, one of them said I was Archangel Ariel, uh, Ariel, and I always thought I was, but after channeling all the information, Ariel was the reason why I changed sides. And people say there wasn't angelic war, yeah, there was, so it was a bit of a conflict there. I was on the wrong side at the beginning, yeah, that's, that's on the other side. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, I can believe it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, Enio was the one that changed my side. 
and I helped to sort it all out. I was, I was like, uh, I, I changed sides. No, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but another aspect that I am, can you believe this one? Uh, my aspect was Baal, king of Orion. Who is the father of the Queen of Orion? Who's on there now? Who I've been battling in this life. <laughs> well, hmm? Go talk some sense into her, man. Because I'm I'm just like I'm good. <laughs> Leave me alone now. <laughs> yeah. That Val's actually said that in to help light for Earth, he'll help me because he's got to. He wants to get rid of. He wants to help it uh, get rid of some of his energy. He'll actually help the light, and he's got like five legions of demons behind him. And he'll, he'll fight for the light, and I don't understand that. I don't trust him 100%. Right? <laughs> I'm not, but it's quite weird how I could call upon legions of demons to fight demons. Hmm. Yeah, I bet some people think I'm crazy, but you're not spiritual unless you're crazy. <laughs> uh, right. Well, what was it today? I was reading somebody, I think it was... Um, somebody somebody's post and we were talking about how crazy the world feels right now mm -hmm. and and yes how crazy half of the stuff i say feels crazy but you know it is true that to be considered insane in an insane world is a compliment mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's how i'm taking it. i'm like i'll look at it like that right mm -hmm. but I, like I, was, all the illusion is disappearing though so it'll be interesting to see the flip as people there's going to be a lot of dissonance as people don't want to see what is like right in front of them because they have always seen the illusion. So it's going to be interesting as people, like you said, the multiple awakenings to see that what they thought was something is actually not what they thought it was. So have we're going you, to have to have, have a lot of grace. Have you done any, I, I know this isn't really awake. I think it is actually. Have you done a, seen any of the Mandela effect? thinking there's a lot of different no things. way <laughs> moonraker she had graces i still remember it mona risa didn't smile because why did i do a project at school on why she's not smiling <laughs> right there's there's so many different things hmm. um I'm trying to think. I can't even think of anything right now. <laughs> I'm on the spot. Mon Mon yeah, Monopoly. Monopoly with the glass eye. I remember well, it. And I don't know what the deal is with the whole collider happening in um, in Switzerland, but there's something connected to that and what we're talking about right now. Because whenever, whenever I hear the Mandela, it's like I can always feel when they're turning that thing on. Like I can feel the... The, the vibration and I would say the fabric of time really I don't yeah what I and think is I think we jumped into this reality I think this isn't our reality I don't think this reality jumped into us I think we've done we're, we're about 50 about next door if you get what I mean and uh, a lot of really weird stuff I've got the breeze with two E's I remember it or Sex in the City. I didn't like the program, but it was advertised. If you like something, really, you get the new stuff. But if it's something that you just don't really bother, it's like, there's always been 52 states in the US. But if you ask someone in the US, they'll say it's always been 50, because they live there. But if you've done it like an history lesson, it's always been 50. How many did you think it was? 15 or 51 or 52? Hmm? Well, there's two territories. Uh, Alaska, Alaska's included. I've really looked at it. I'm uh, thinking. Yeah, no, I, I know exactly what you're talking about because I was looking at it. I was like, whoa, there's so many different things like that, like mm. all over, all over the world. Mm. And especially having to do with like advertising, which is a whole different thing, you know, using language to manipulate and whatnot. I mean, to manipulate reality. And so it's like, oh, there's so much power there. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't play the the TV game. I don't watch the advertisements. I don't watch the commercials because they are shifting things. Mm. It's like when you're doing a conversation, you know, writing it down. You think, is that the US way of spelling it, the English, or is it a Mandela effect and it's changed? I don't know. <laughs> 
Poop day. <laughs> right? So. All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to share for the newly awakening people? Uh, I'm doing a fat healing tomorrow, by the way, if anyone wants to go. Oh, well, yeah, we it's not tomorrow, it's later on today. And I was going to do it after the healing because I thought it was a thought I didn't look at you're in Australia, aren't you? You're ahead I know, of I'm us. I'm in the US, yeah. West yeah, Coast. Yeah, you but you you've done it as a twentieth this event and it's not it's oh it is. It's the twentieth. I thought it was it's, it's twenty first. Is that another Mandela effect? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe you're uh, stuck in your car, like on the back time. On the, on the yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've got the wrong time, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So maybe we can put the um, the link to the the pet thing in the um, comment section. I'll mm -hmm. try to find that. I think I have it in my messenger. I'll try to add that, as well as a way to get a, a hold of you in case somebody wants to get some help with the Orion or whatnot. <laughs> I, I, I've got a little bit of information actually, so I could be all day tonight. Yeah, don't ever be frightened of dark, but if you ever got a problem with dark energies, I've done about four or five this year to do with uh, redo curses. Yeah, I'm fascinated with them sort of things. And Whoa, that's light. The most recent, one of the most recent ones, I had to go to the medicine man, mainly South America, it's loads of them there. And I took part of his power. Is that dark? Yes, it is. I, I fought fire, fire with fire. I replaced it with light, so I swapped energies. And she wouldn't have liked, but it was a warning, basically a warning. So I took some of his dark energies, yeah? I didn't have it for long, sent it to source and replace it with some of my light energies uh, because I could do And what you do, you put your, your hand on his heart chakra and you swap energies on it. And sometimes you just got to work fire with fire. That was a warning. I could have done a lot worse to it, a lot more worse. But uh, I, had, I did do one once. This was amazing. I'll tell you this story because this is really, this frightened me to death and I don't get frightened at all. Someone is another one in South America. It's always South America. It was part of a cult. Yeah. I Oscar every night. The leader uh, worshipped a shaman, not a shaman, a shaman. And it's that is like a voodoo god. Yeah. The other one believed in another god who, who were, were, goes for possession. And she wanted to leave it, so she left it. As she's going to a path, in front of the yard was a bag of chicken legs, yeah? Black candle, ribbon, you know, all that crap, if you know what I mean. It's a very big spell. And she was frightened to death, and she rang contact to me, can you help me? I'm frightened to death. What are we going to do to me? They're very powerful. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you overnight while you sleep an angelic blessing. And an angelic blessing is, number one, you create this uh, ring that you create above someone's head, yeah? If you increase the ball frequency to 2,222 hertz, comes a portal, yeah? If you do one at the bottom, I actually pulled in the light of the underworld that went through a body into the ground. I put some webbing, so I gave her a full blessing. Uh, I know you're in a rush, so I'll do this quick. Hold on, my kid keeps texting me. Um, <laughs> he's like, he's at his dad's house. He's like, uh, I'm ready to go. I'm like, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so to do an angelic blessing, first is the underworld seat, goes through the body. The second is like a brown angelic webbing for protection that sinks into the aura field. What was the third one? Brain control, you gotta change the brain patterns a little bit. What's the rubble one? So I did all this. It's about five different things. It takes about three hours overnight. The next morning, she had an awakening. This was someone who I would say, I'm not being derogatory, but quite simple chatting, you know, words. She was a prophet the next day. I thought, shh. Wow. Can't go to South America. What have we done? It's some, and what I believe is the uh, earth aspect, the goddess, he's linked to the feminine, the goddess, woke up from the blessing. 
actually won't even bother the next day. Just won't bother about it then. It's gone. Yeah. And that's that's how powerful you can, you can change someone so much. But I was I was worried because I couldn't go to South America in case he got possessed. So it was a different person. <laughs> Completely different person. It was weird. Right. So I was <laughs> A lot of people are dealing with uh, voodoo type ancestral curses. At least yeah. that's what I've noticed too. And a lot of people are like, don't mess with that. You know, if you if you don't have a voodoo background, don't mess with that. Well, my team is like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that, that is what you're here for, Sally. You mm -hmm. know, with, with the angelic energy that I'm holding here, I can, I, I can work with those. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, and I'm like, well, that's like, like the old way of thinking. Like, I'm sorry, you're the only one that can do that because you happen to have that background. No, this energy yeah, that yeah. we're bringing and holding here now, it, like you're saying, is like supercharged. Hmm. I, I, I've, I've removed two curses this year, and these are both baffling. One was 1320. It was a bloodline curse. So it's not, a, uh, it's a bloodline curse. And what was that mean is the woman was getting viciously by male and females killed and the blood drank while she's still alive. And I mean brutal rape and that sort of, you know, that deep. Because I went there, I wanted to kill them, but I thought, no, if I kill them here, it might affect her. It might be the Mando effect here. <laughs> Just don't know what they did. No, yeah. And on her last breath, she cursed the blood. So I contacted, once Once a, be a being curses someone, they don't go forward. They drown themselves by this curse. They can't go to heaven or wherever you go after. Uh, they drown themselves. So I contacted her and I actually brought in 10 angels to sort this out. And what she wanted, she wanted the bones blessed and like a funeral because they dumped them. But we did that. And 2,125 souls were saved because it, all the ones in the bloodline had been grounded. All the way back, yeah. All, all the way, way back, back, all the way back. It's 2,000. And the old lot came off and she went on. And this woman who had the bloodline, she she's thanked me big time. She's really a lot better now. Yeah. So that, that was amazing. The other one was a thousand year old, I guess. Yeah. And all the person had to do was apologize on behalf of their family ancestor for her to move forward. That was it. She just wanted an apology. And she did apology, everything got it got sorted. It's as simple as that. But if you think about how people that trauma can be a lot bigger at the time, and that's all she wants because nobody identified what happened, nobody knew what happened. And the trauma grounded herself. And it thought she might have been apology. A bit weird, didn't it? So one was a bloodline, which was an FD a big, big job, that one. Yeah, it took me half an hour, that one. You know what I mean? Well, and what's interesting, and I I, I, I will have to go in a minute, but I want to, because my kid is like, ah. But um, is this thing that a lot of us have, like, um, sworn these weird oaths in past lives and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of spelling that we have done and that we are like, they're, it's coming up somehow now uh, that we've realized that we've limited ourselves through these deals we've made and these, um, at least for me and other people that I've met and, you know, we're talking and it's like, do you see what you just said? You made this, you know, it's like, whoa, I'm getting this. No, you made this this vow of poverty or this vow of um, loneliness or, I mean, there's all of these really weird things that we have been carrying forward. Like, we never had to. We don't. No. It, uh, one instance is people have the experience of having something, an illness of this and that, and you can't, you shouldn't be doing evening on them because that's the contract. Sorry, I'm a walking. I don't go with contracts. <laughs> I will right. try and reverse it. And even if their agreement with their soul, old soul agreement was to do that, I don't really care. <laughs> I just break the rule. 
Well, and I always, the way I work, it's like, well, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to set this intention. This is a conscious thing that's you know, coming in right now, free will and all, you know? So yes, there might've been a contract, but that those can always be revised. And so that's how I look at it. And is, you know, as long as I'm like dealing with the, the higher aspects, the higher self, all of that, I just let that shake it out. I'm like, ah, you know, if, if, if it's if it's meant to happen okay and and it other times it has been this no like i have gotten that like oh no that you're not gonna be i know what you're trying to do this is not this is not the way it's gonna go down and i'm like well can, what can we do to like shift it a little bit to make it more whatever comfortable um but when when they told me why they asked permission they, they didn't let her die because of what happened with my mum. They, they were frightened of grounded. <laughs> so, because I could, I could quite easily say, so actually, I have to move on. But, yeah. So, but, this idea of contracts, but we also have free will. And so, I mean, to me, the soul growth and transformation, the opportunity for that trumps all of it. Mm. Like if we say, oh yeah, no, I've learned this lesson and now I'm now I'm gonna expand and this is what I want to do. You know, I'm not I don't want this illness anymore. I learned this lesson. Now, you know, there is an opportunity to break those contracts. But, but, I, but, but the thing is the, the human being that you are now didn't make that contract. It might no. be a soul cut, it might be your soul, but you're human now. Yeah. Hasn't signed anything. So that's why I, yes. I think so that I'll break it. I break the rules all the time. I'm not well, Yeah. And I'm not this is ego. This is my ego. You're too frightened of me anyway. So <laughs> I'm doing my job. So you know. Well, I appreciate the the help that you've been to me, especially with the Orion crapola. I was dealing with so I mean yeah definitely I'm amazed you knew where I was I really am well I'm, I might be intuitive or whatnot did you read me mind or did you actually feel it I, I just knew so that, that is my 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 thing is that I just know and so um the whole thing just dropped in and I was like why am why why are we going to Orion <laughs> you know and that was like I I said that and you were like yeah. Um, so yeah, but that's you know that's like some of us have diff you know that I have varying. Degrees. That's for you. That's for you. What was that? Extra blessings off the angels. Seeing you like to do oracle cards, I thought I'll do one. Oh, right on. <laughs> yeah, I pulled one too. It's called the throat chakra. All right. Express your truth. Mm. And I have done. So it's your fault. You were doing a spell on me. <laughs> yeah, and so we went a little long, but it's all good because it's all, I mean, this is all, there's so I, much woven in here that people can learn from. So I, I have got a, a bit of advice. If, if you've ever done anything really dark, like as a child, I was, I had a book of 9,000 spells in, very ancient. And I used to do black magic when I was a child, and I used to do some really horrible stuff. But you can grow out of that and then go to the light. It's quite easy. Yeah. Well, and yes, thank you for saying that, because for me, it hasn't really, there were a few instances when I was younger that I really have had a hard time dealing with, but mostly it's been past lives mm. of these really dark lives. And it's like, hey, let yourself off the hook. Like, I mean, I can be whatever I want right now, mm. right? And so it is this thing of, you know, forgive yourself, you know, self-compassion, have grace and live your life now, you know, embodying whatever kind of energy feels good to you right now. So yeah, definitely, regardless of whatever you did before. I, I've, I have once said one of me, I think it was Raphael or something, I rescued someone from hell. But when I went there to rescue him, I decided to stay a while. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, party time. <laughs> right? That's me. <laughs> All did, right, did, well, thank you. 
one last thing. It's not to be light, it's to be harmony with your black, dark and light. Harmony with your ego, with your shadow self. It's all you. You don't try and be all light because it's not possible. Uh, and that's how the earth should be, dark and light, because who created them? Source created them both. Yeah. It's all, it's all divinity.